Hey, it's Shelly Rosemay, Art by the Métis Mama, and I have ephemera packs today. So my ephemera was getting a little bit out of hand, and I wanted to just do some cleaning out, so I thought I would do a, up some packs. Um, so I kind of did themes for each pack. But they are all sort of similar, but just slightly different. But there's a lot of the same stuff in each pack. Um, but I'll open one of each because I did, like I did four of these ones. Because I honestly can't remember what I put in all of them. Then I did four of these ones with the guidance card on the top. And then I did four of these ones with the La La Loopsy card on the top. And so let's check out one of these. So there's this one. And in the back, I have a lot of stickers too that I'm trying to purge. So I threw in some stickers as well. And I have this one. So I'm just trying to think how to, if you're interested in one, how I would label it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Then I have this one. And then, oops. I have this one. Okay. And then I have this one. So I'll open up this one and we can see what's inside it. And I'll do the same for the other ones. I'll just do open one. So I'm going to call this pack the Karma Pack <laughs> because the book that I got these pictures out of was about like the law of cause and effect and karma and stuff like that. So we're going to call these ones the Karma Pack. So if you're interested in one of these, you can say like, I want um, one of the Karma Packs. If you want a specific one, just um, kind of identify the picture. Like this one's like a white, has like a white, white, I guess, let's say the white karma. Um, these two are both green, so that's going to be hard. So this will, we'll call this one the dark green karma. And then this one will be the, the beard karma, because he's got a beard, okay? Like, I don't know. And this is the light green karma. Okay, so um, that's one of the pitch, that's the main focal point of this um, ephemera pack. And then let's see where should we start. Um, we'll just start right here. I'll just zoom in just a little bit so you can kind of see a little bit better what's all inside. Okay, so just a, that's like a picture of an oven mitt, I guess. And there's a couple more there. Toaster and a tea kettle. And Bible page. And this is just like a, a couple quotes. Another quote. It's a small card. Another, this is like a, a retro ET card. This is just like a card that I got from the historic site, part by Parks Canada. Uh, this is a, <clears throat> just a card that I got from somebody. Um, ben and Holly flash card. It was, it's from a game. It's not a flash card, but it's from some kind of, it's a memory game. Um, you do get a Lala Loopsy card in here as well. Um, another vintage Bible page. A vintage dictionary page. A children's book page. Another children's book, book page that's just been folded. That's, it's not a children's book. It's a, a children's like a English or English um, textbook, I guess, vintage. 
um, just a piece of uh, wildlife, um, vintage wildlife book, just a part of a page, a piece of scrap, um, paper, scrap of paper. This is a novelty tarot card I got in the Halloween section at my local dollar store. A uh, piece of wallpaper. Um, I got this from the thrift store. It's a postcard. Uh, another piece of a vintage page, a magazine page. Another um, quote, some quotes. Um, <clears throat> this came from a thrift store find, a uh, day timer. Just some random um, paper. This was from like a, a calendar, a year long calendar, um, you know, where you change the pages on the calendar. This was part of it. I just cut the date off. It was kind of too big to fit in the in the package. This is from a Reader's Digest. Um, book, reader, uh, vintage book page. Um, part of a children's book page. A vintage crochet page. Part of a page. Got right here. Um, weekly list pad that it that has been torn in half. I love the flowers there. Um, part of a vintage children's book page. I love that artwork. Uh, the Lorax coloring sheet, half of a sheet. <laughs> Uh, vintage um, arithmetic page. Um, this came from a damaged children's book um, page. And just throw these back here. And then you get some stickers. So I'm just throwing random stickers in that I just want to clear out of my stash. I like these big letters because then they just make a fun focal point for a journal spread and you can color them in. Hello Kitty. I had a bunch of Hello Kitty stuff so I'm just trying to get rid of it. And this is just like a fun piece of um, a die cut. So there you have it. There's there's an example of this one. And the other thing I was going to mention too was that every time I pack up ephemera packs, so whenever I sell these, I um, always throw in some extra goodies. So if you end up buying one of my packs here, you'll get some surprise goodies in your pack. All right. So keep that in mind. Okay, there we go. So again, similar but different. So we got the white karma, the dark green karma, the bearded karma, and the light green karma. Okay, so if you're interested in one of those, just let me know. Okay, the next one we'll look at is the Lala Lipsy. Oh, might as well just go with the top one. And these are easy. You can just say I want number two. I want number 10, I want number 12, or I want number 6. Okay, so one has um, 
the um, these are I make these um, collage. Let's open one up. I, I make these collage hearts. You've probably seen my video. You might have seen my video. Not probably, but you might have. Should assume you guys all watch my videos because I know that's not true. <laughs> okay. So you get one of my ha my handmade uh, collage hearts. This one says imagine. Uh, you get one. I have a. I was gifted a bunch of these wooden buff buttons with these really cool designs on them. So I'm going to put one of those in because I have a lot. So this pack, you get a Lala Loopsy car flash card. Uh, one of these larger cards. This is like a Ziggy picture, um, a stamp, some pictures of some flags. There's a picture of a fish vintage another vintage um vintage but uh bible page small bible page uh note paper another et card some random pictures another um vintage uh disney page portion of a vintage disney page another children's book page this one has a cat and a dog some vintage cheetahs pictures um some scrapbooking paper again from a wildlife disney wildlife magazine i mean book um another quote some this is from a book on totem poles so it just has some really nice artwork another piece of wallpaper another one of these quotes because i have a lot of these this came from a reader's digest book um a dictionary page a vintage children's book page another one of those um day timer pictures um from I forget her, this artist, Mary, somebody, I forget her last name. Another one of those calendar um, pages. Another one of these, but this one is a full sheet this time. Um, this is just like a National Geographic thing that you can do something fun with in your junk journals. Um, this is a large coloring book page part of one and a vintage Arabian Nights book page and a vintage crocheting page okay so again you can see that it's similar to the one we just looked through but just slightly different And of course it comes with this button and this heart. So I'll throw that back in there. We already looked at these two. Um, so here we have a bunch of little stickers and these are supposed to be like little pictures of um, Asian dishes. <laughs> I got them from the thrift store. I bought a bunch of stickers and stuff. There's a bunch of random things in this little container, so I bought them. So here we have just some random stickers that I'm trying to purge. All different kinds. Another one of those um, die cuts. Okay, and I'll throw those in there. So when I throw in extras, when people order goodie packs, I throw in extra stickers and I throw in extra ephemera. Okay, so that, so again, we have six and this one says imagine. Then this is number two and it, this one says goddess. Then we have uh, number 12 and this one says inspire. And then we have 
number 10, and this one says truth. Okay, so that's those ones. And then this is pack, uh, the third set. So we will check out one of these sets. Which ones should we check out? I don't know. Decisions, decisions here. Let's go with this one. Again, they're all similar, but slightly different. Okay, so the first one you get in here is, first thing you get in here is one of these cards. This one says, the harder I push against, the more, the harder I push against it, the more I attract its essence. When you find some unwanted thing that you want to shout no at, shout briefly and then turn your attention to the thing you do want. Any attention to anything is practicing of the vibration that will bring it onto you. So these are from like an Abraham Hicks, I think it's called, um, guidance card set that I got from the thrift store. I don't really, I'm not really a fan of Abraham Hicks, but I like some of the messages. And so I thought they'd be fun um, for journaling, like to put in a journal and stuff. Okay, so some random pictures. So family of skunks. Um, another vintage ET card. Another one of those um, Parks Canada cards. Um, another flash card from that Ben and Holly. Or not flash card, um, memory game card. I just cut some butterfly wings out of, of vin that vintage Disney wildlife book. Another Ziggy, another one of these cards. This is just a little um, thing on love from what the seven sacred teachings on love. Another piece of wallpaper, some vintage yearbook photos, <clears throat> a piece of ephemera that I got in a Happy Mail swap. Another card, one of these bare daily inspirational quotes or psalms or whatever. Um, another picture there, another quote page. I got that from a book. A uh, picture of a, a girl from a vintage children's book. A uh, vintage, um, part of a vintage library not library um birthday card and um, it's embossed so it's got some texture to it and this is so pretty this would make a really beautiful um journal layout um just a black piece of paper this is from a reader's digest book isn't that a gorgeous picture um piece of native um, ephemera. This is from a book on, I think it's called Indians of the Old West or something like that. It's a, it was like a history book, I guess. So I was using a lot of the pictures in my journaling. Um, a vintage Bible page. Uh, old Disney Bambi children's book page, another one of those um, arithmetic um, pages, vintage, vintage zoology page, vintage <clears throat> dictionary page. Uh, this came again from a Reader's Digest um, book. Another um, book page from a youth reader and a vintage Arabian Nights book page. So. That is all the ephemera you get in there. So again, the amounts of ephemera are in each pack are the same. And I, I counted each one, but I forget um, how much is in each. And that they're all the same for each pack. Like, like these are all the same number. 
these are all the same number and those are all the same number but you're still going to pay the same they're all going to be the same price so how much is in each doesn't really matter they're all the same price um so here's some of the stickers and stuff so I tried to make these fun and mix it up a bit I don't have a like I wouldn't say I'm like a ephemera whore is that the right word hoarder hoarder not whore <laughs> hoarder that's what that's the word I was trying to say um so okay so for these packs um how can you label them? We'll say, um, let's call this one the winter pack because it's got a snow scene. We'll call this one the sun pack because it's got a sun on it. We'll call this one the desire because it's that's what this card is about, desire. And this one will be the kite pack. Okay, so if you're interested in either of those, just let me know. And I... I, again, I will put some extra goodies, some stickers, and papers in here so you have a lot of fun stuff for your journaling needs. And thanks for watching.